Okay, now that we know what this is, let's see if you can spot it in our friend My Country Tis of Thee. All right, um, maybe I'll speed this up just a hair. I think we were listening to it really slow. Okay, and we're gonna hear these horrible MIDI voices. Oh my gosh, I hate that sound. Um, there's nothing worse than like MIDI choir. Ugh. Anyway, um, see if you can f spot in context one of those arpeggiating 6-4 chords. Now remember what you're looking for here is for the bass line to start moving up by chord tones, right? To just walk up its own chord. Uh, so let's hear it and then we'll talk about where it is. Let's stop it there because this file gets crazy <laughs> like that uh, what is that note it's like at least an octave high does that make sense uh, anyway doesn't matter we just passed it anyway um so right here, right? Land of the, here we have C, G, and B. So what chord would we call that? We'd probably call that a five, seven chord. So we're in the key of F. So C, E, is E is missing here, but C, E, G, B flat as our seventh, right? So here's a five seven, and then our bass note is gonna step up through the chord, creating here that arpeggiated six four chord, because we have a G on the bass. It's a six four chord. Cool, let's hear it just, just that bar. Oops, one extra, extra note, but that's okay. Um, our, Melody voices, our upper voices, they stayed the same. We have it again here, right here, although this one's a little harder to see. Because I think there's some wrong notes in it. There's totally wrong notes in it. That's what it should be. So this is what it's supposed to be. And when it's like this, you can see the arpeggiated 6-4 right there. Um, these notes stay the same. This stays the same, but we walk up through our bass note, creating the arpeggiated 6-4. Now, when you have one of these 6-4 chords, they're usually quite temporary, um, and we move back either to a resolution or to the original chord pretty quick. In this case, we move back to the five chord. So we're saying our root position five chord. So five, five, six, five, six, four, five, three, or five, five, three. Um, root position is what we're back to here. Uh, here we have one, one six, one six four, and what ought to be one F A C, yes, uh, one. So in both cases here, we've stayed on the same chord but moved back to a root position at the end of it. So these uh, six four chords are quite temporary, um, they kind of happen quick and in passing. Um, not in passing, uh, that's the wrong word because we're going to talk about passing 6-4s in just a second. Um, but they are created through an arpeggio. They don't hang around a long time, but they're worth being able to spot them. Also, unlike the other ones, they don't change the chord. 
you know, this you would spot as a 164 chord anyway, right? That's what you were taught to call that already. This isn't giving an old chord a new name. This is just another use of the 6-4 chord that is important to know, right? These 6-4 chords are weird little buggers, so we have some extra little uh, things we have to think about with them, and this is one of them. Okay, let's move on to the passing 6-4. 